pessoa. Yeah. yeah, I know. I'm just trying to move some um, equipment out of the way because it's obviously, it goes off AMF. Hello all. Oh, look at that though. Yeah, yeah that's on my phone. Hey guys, so I'll be with you in a sec. Is it <laughs> How are we? Sorry we're late. Burns your time as always. Hey guys, welcome in, how are we? So, we're up at a house to investigate um, the spirits that could possibly wander through here. Had a lot of um, feedback on the house from everybody who's been here. And uh, sounds like a very interesting place to maybe pull something out. How's your Friday going? Oh. No, that's not me. So I've got the REM pod set up at the moment. So I'm just taking the kinks out of the crystal here because I'm going to try a pendulum mat to start off tonight. Hey, Sarah, how you going? So, yeah, just give me a minute. Matt, do you want to talk for a minute, mate? Mm -hmm. Grab him and talk for a minute, mate? Or Yeah. So, good evening, everyone. Welcome in. So it's going to be a little bit different tonight. It's a little bit different to what we usually do. So just had a bit of a rundown. We're going to start with the pendulum, good old pendulum mat. Let me turn. Where are we? So he's got all that set up right there. <coughs> when he finally gets... Oh, sorry. It's supposed to be like that, I think it goes around like that. And when you ask a question of it, mm -hmm. it'll like go in like a zigzag way or something like that. Um, there goes the REM pod. I'm going to move this back from the REM pod a bit. Yeah. So there is a, there's a room I've got stuff set up around because the seance the silence was done in that room and in another room that we can't get into when that seance was performed it actually locked somebody in there and a bit of uh, possession came about which is really freaky very freaky came to see it that's the temperature yeah, so that was a heat change, so it's probably candles from that one. Yeah. Possibly the candles from that one. So yeah, sorry guys, it was a fair bit of a trip up here, but and we've got a live audience. I'm a bit a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> bit nervous on it, so I'll get the I'll, I'll get me I'll get my mojo going soon though. Just pretend we're not here. So, uh, no one wants to say hello? Hi. <laughs> That's not one of the screens. Did you ask me if I wanted to go on there? I, I just asked. They all knew. The other two... And the, like, this place looks familiar. And I'm like, damn it. The two that said hello, and then the other two backed away. <laughs> right, they had time. So. so, he's just setting up the devices as well, so we can have them running. So, good evening to everyone that's come in. Hello. Is that temperature again still? Yeah, it's temperature still. Oh. Like this. 
So the REM pod's registering a temperature change, even though we've moved the candles because away. Because that's got temperature on it as well, so. Mm. So I see we've got the envoy there as well. Yeah, something different tonight. Right. Someone's right. house. Uh, first off, start with saying good evening, spirits. My name is Michael. This is my brother, Matt. And everybody in this room, I think you do know. So any spirits that are in here currently, just want to want, hopefully want just to welcome us here. We're paranormal investigators and communicators. We accept no negative energy. We accept no negative spirits. We accept no attachments, good, bad, or any other kind. To myself, my brother, anybody else in this house. Or our devices and equipment. If there is any spirit in here at the moment that feels um, well enough to talk to us, I've got a device on this on the table here. You can tap it, yes or no. You can come close to it and give an electronic charge, or you can drop the temperature in here as well. So if there's any spirit that would like to talk to us, can you please touch the Envoy device in front of me, please? If there's a spirit that did make the temperature go off on the REM pod then, would you be able to touch the aerial for me? And touch it again? Hang on a sec. Give me the torch because I'm going to hold it. Have we got yeah. Yeah. this one? No, that's the blue one. Yeah, mm -hmm. where's the other one then? Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The other torch is in the bag over there. Alright, hold that. So, guys, just, so you, just in case you don't know, this here, thank you, Boho, for coming in. Boho Crystal Witch gave us this. This is the pendulum map. We'll be holding the crystal over the top of it and asking our questions and seeing if we can get any responses by it. Um, we've also still got the envoy there, the REM pod there. Try and, um, focus on this. I'm going to try and see if I can communicate with any of the spirits right. here. Temperature change again. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can speak with any of the spirits here through the pendulum map. If any of the answers are on here and you would wish to respond with it, please make the uh, make the crystal swing to your answer. Are there currently any spirits here with us right now, watching? Rephrase. That just came up rephrased then. So it wants me to rephrase the question, okay. Um, is there any of the spirits of this house currently around the table with me? Say that, did you, Caitlin? Let's swing like to the right. Going back to rephrase as well. I don't know if it's because my hand could be possibly not. Frogs? 
Can I rephrase that again? Is there any spirit here that is willing to uh, talk with me at the moment? Can you please give me a definite sign? So I want you to ask what's yes and what's no first before we use the pendulum. Ask what? Ask what's yes and what's no first. What do you mean? Hmm? What do you mean ask yeah. what's yes and what's no? I'm, I, was, I was just saying, like one of the questions says ask what's yes and what's no. So maybe something on there. Yeah. Hey? So here you got yes and what's no over there. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe explain to them a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you move the pendulum in this motion, that will be pointing to yes. Like show me a yes and show me a no to start with before you start asking the other question. Okay. Can you show me what a no is? Do you know where no is on the pendulum map? from where I'm sitting it's going up and down but yeah 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 look at that up and right. down because you got no on either side there fucking arms hurting a bit though <laughs> okay thank you for that yeah the camera keeps refocusing because it's not getting enough light can you show oh wait I'll go down can you show me what a yes is by any chance please Look at that. It's now it's going the other way. Yeah, that's going to the yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. As you can see, guys, you got no on one side, yes on the others. Are you kidding me on that? Okay. So, as right. you can see, it went no first, then switched sides and went to yes when he asked it. Can you show me what a maybe is, please? Okay, would you be able to show me again, if you've done it before, what rephrase was? Yeah. Look at that. That's going straight to rephrase. Yeah. Thank you, but it didn't know it didn't go for the maybe. Are you um, happy enough to tell me if I'm being correct at the moment by touching yes on that device in front of me? I'll show you where yes is. That's yes, see? So if you can tap that. Can you tell me if there's one, if there's more than one spirit here, please? Can I please have a yes or no answer? Oi. Oh, I've got a ball going off in this back room and my ear is burning. Is there a ball going off in the back room? In this back room here. I thought it was like, I thought it was like 
if there's the spirit that's in there that's touching the ball in that room, can you walk towards the door and make that uh, music go off for us, please? Still going off over there. Yeah. In that room, boss yeah. still going off. Yeah. Like I said, and I'm standing here, and my ears burning out. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Should I go into that other room? No, it's my left ear. Where the ball is going off? Someone asked if it was a righty. Yeah, but this one here. Yeah. This one. And that's what made me sort of turn. It's still that. going off. Yeah. And it's done, yes. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go in there. Yeah, just thought it just said yes on here. That's me setting off the yeah, that's you setting music off. box. No, I'm trying to put him. He's still in that room back there. You want to light that up for me again? Sam, do it when I have my back turn. You want to give me some light here for a sec, bro? Just trying to keep the camera facing down rather than up too much because we're in obviously someone's house. Yeah, Is that going on? Yeah, Ram Pod's going off out here. Oh, Are you playing games with us? Mm -hmm. Straight out there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said. Well, have me back turn. So, guys, this room here is the room that the silence was done in. So, let's see if I can get anything from in here. As soon as we entered the room, the ball stopped. Do you want to, um... Because it stopped as soon as I walked in there. Do you want to grab that blue light, buddy? That was me. Oh, uh, so it's not that touchy. That's good. That's how much range it's got on it. Can you get that, um... Uh, yeah, here. Torch buff? Yeah, take that. Hey guys, so gonna try and see what's going on in this room because this ball, the ball that was on the floor here, hang on, I'll just put a bit of light here first. The ball that's on the floor here was going off. Right, you wanna hold that while I sit in here for a minute, Matt? Because I'm gonna see if we can catch, yeah. capture anything. You don't need to put that light on. Yep. I only got two hands, bro. It's gonna shoot me. Okay, so I'm gonna currently call the spirits that are in this room. Whatever spirit is in this room, I just seen you type in K. Would you be able to type in your name or can you type in 
the initial of the other person that resides in this room. Whilst I'm in here, again, I accept no negative energy, I accept no negative spirits, I accept no attachments, good, bad, or any other kind to myself, devices, or equipment. I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy to hear you. I've got another device here of which you can talk. Would you like to tell me your name? Beware. First word was beware. Can you tell me what I've got to be aware of? Why oh, my ears are burning in here. Mm -hmm. Like they're hot. Mm -hmm. If you felt my right ear, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, mine's alright now. Is it dangerous for me to be in here? Erica. Erica. know this, I do not fear you, and you should not fear me. I'm not here to harm you, I'm simply here to communicate with you. I will actually do want to know if there is a spirit that has stayed here, that was opened through the seance that was done in this room years ago. I'll just kick that one again. Oh, that's in the room. See so that thing there is going to work again. Oi. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. I was like, as soon as I turn me back again. Sacred. Sacred. I do believe this is on sacred land. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I need you to communicate a bit more with me if you can. Just double tap to K. Double tap K again. Because it said K before, didn't it? It said K, K. It keeps going. Matt. Yeah. Turn the temperature part of it off. Yeah. It's the red button. It's going, man. Are you able to spell your name for me? As you can see. What did you say then? It's gone. KKMH. Spirit, can you tell me through the spirit talk or about sitting next to me? I'm from the 1800s. Mm. You're from the 1800s. If that's true. Can you touch that ball on the TV, or can you make the um, the music box go off for me, please? Can you give me a sign of you banging in here? You can bang on the wall if you want, but just don't break it. B. Do you like the occupants of the house now? Do you understand what you're um, tapping on that device there? It's crazy because that device doesn't usually go off like this, mm. especially on the letters.
told me, beware before. Will you bewaring me of the spirits that I may um, communicate with, like that I might unearth that have been quiet for so long? Is that why you're telling me that? Next to me, by any chance? Hmm. I accept no negative energy, and I accept no negative spirits. I accept no attachments, good, bad, any other kind to myself, my brother, any person in this house, or the devices and equipment. I'm here to communicate with you. Are you setting that to now? Yes and no. Hmm. No. Can you answer me? Would you talk to me better if I done something that we called an Estes, which is where I'll be focusing on words from you, just you and me talking, and I'll repeat them for all to hear. Can you say yes or no on that device for me? Yeah, it's not that. Yes. Mm. I just said yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go into but I'm gonna make it a bit harder for it. I don't want it to. <laughs> I don't want it to tap as much. I want it to come through. And I'm gonna take that off because. Yeah. Yeah, guys, there's a bit, a little bit of whispering in the background as you'll hear. It's gotten real, yeah. Huh? A little foggy outside. It came from nowhere. Uh, um, you watch, I'm gonna walk out of this place and I'm gonna see something in the middle of bloody road. Will was nowhere. Will was sitting there watching it. It just came from nowhere. I'm sitting there in the middle of something. What have you guys got? What have you got? <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. Wait, my right ear inside that room there, it's just, it's a it's bit... It's deadly in there. Though. It's a bit, um... It freaks me out when she said, please move back. Heavy-ish. <clears throat> courage. What are you saying? I've got the courage to uh, talk to you through this. Because you make me feel a bit uneasy at the moment, mate. Well, as soon as I walked away from where I was standing, the ear stopped. What was yours? You said right you're right here, yeah, because they were and saying. And when I've come out here, now me left here. Yeah, they were saying right here. Apparently, they want to communicate with you, or they're sending me you right message. here inside there was burning. Mm -hmm. And that that envoy, and I've had that envoy out in air where there's wind and there's a possibility of something happening. Yeah. There's no wind or nothing in there. That envoy hasn't gone off like that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do Estes first. In my room? Yep. Cool. Through a user's headphones and a wipe off. And he turns the spirit to it all the way up. And all he can hear is that shh, 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 and the spirit's taking hey. in. It's, it goes through um, radio frequencies. frequencies. Yeah. Dangerous. Huh? Just protect yourself in there. I've got yeah. a protective thing on, but I'll, this is what I do this for. It's a nice thrill. Yeah. Well, well if he's if he's one. crazy in that, but... If you want, you sort of know who possibly could be here and stuff like that. You just want to ask the questions. 100%. Sort of trying to get, maybe get some Can familiar. Like, the last, the last yeah. time I asked questions is when they took over me. So <laughs> I'm going to ask them now. 
The lights. Which lights? Did it four go off? No, not yet. Um, Where'd you put that other one? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I keep forgetting. We are in someone's house, and I do try and not show too much what's going on at the moment. So. So who are you standing behind? Sorry. Are you behind me again? They will come if you um if you are more vulnerable than what I am. What? what was that? Huh? I just said something. What did I say? Frank. Frank. Oi. What? There's no windows open, is there? Tap. Yeah, but I don't know if it was outside or it was inside. No. None of the windows are open, so, no, windows so it's not none of the blinds. <coughs> Fans not on. But yes. No. I even heard that right behind me again. Sorry guys, hang on. I can still hear. I'll be on the bed talking to it. <laughs> like I'll usually be talking to it. I'll be repeating what it says. Well, didn't you say there's a burial place? The paddocks of Chinese burial ground. The yeah. paddocks of Chinese burial ground. Yeah. Put some water for a second, mate. <laughs> Not for them to see. So that has something to do with the 1800s. Belly said yes. So, yeah. That's a protection pack. That's a protection pack that I just put on that. You should be right with that. Yeah. Hey? Uh, yeah, it sounds like a fan, but as you can see, the fan's not on. There's nothing there. Now, like I said, like, you'll hear it. It goes through radio frequencies. You'll know when you hear the difference between... A spirit saying something to you, yeah, and I'm agree. telling you who's going to win on San Diego Race 9. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best way I can explain it to people. Before you turned up on off, mate. I must have hit the wrong thing. You didn't you tell didn't... me at the bottom. I hit one of the things on the top. No, well, you just sensitised that. Yeah, well, you didn't say nothing about underneath. And make sure you've got the blue light on me, too. You sure? I'll, I'll, I was trying to I was trying to keep it above waist height. Keep it keep it on to where you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, okay. I'm going straight over your head. What? So what that'll what that'll do out there is if the spirit comes over we've taken the, the thermo off it. But if the spirit comes over and wants to touch it where the ball is. That will start letting off a button, like um, one of the buttons will light up. The stronger it's touching in that, the more it will light up. So if you hear that going off. And like 
I said, right now I'm going to do. I'm. S bro. Bro. Didn't what? you tell her it could bang on the wall before? Yeah. While you're in this room? Yeah. Did it bang? I just heard it again. 100%. Don't worry, I'm. I'll try and settle it down as much as I can, but. Hold this for a sec because I'm taking. Mama Jo said. Mama, that for me, please, Mama Jo said she got a shirt yesterday and she stoked. Lovely Mama Joe. I'm glad you got it. Hope you liked it. I'm also gonna put on record. Every time I turn me back, it feels like there's something watching me. Yeah, exactly. When I walked through here the first time, like even then, when I got to where the book round where the ball was here, yeah. it was like a heavy breathing. I felt heavy breathing like I'm heavy breathing. Mm-hmm. How are we guys? Sorry, this is, like Maddie said, this is a different life to what we normally do, but this is, yeah, this is exciting. I'm starting to get a rhythm to it, and I think, I think there is something in this room. Most certainly is something in this room, mm -hmm. and we're about to find out what it is. I want, I want you to, yeah. Fully sick, bro. Just subscribe. Oh, thanks, fully sick, bro. Much love, brother. Thank you. Matt. Yeah. Raz it. Hi, right, Kim Ellis, how are you? Huh? Raz it. Yeah. No, I mean it, Raz it. No, I don't want to go too bad. Someone's trying to live here, bro. <laughs> we get to go home. Oh, where's this other torch? This one. So oh. I'm telling you now, before I go under, we've got no negative energy Jeez. and no negative spirits. We're accepting no attachments, good, bad, or any other kind to ourselves, equipment, or devices, or anybody in this house. The communication between you and me, anything that comes from it is on me and me solely. Everybody else in this house is protected. Except for Matt. Yeah. Alright, give me a minute because... Timmy's telling me to be respectful. Can you still hear me? Yeah, right. I'm not turned it down. Alright, yeah, well give me a sign when you're ready. Yeah, I will. When I, when I, when I sit back, give me about 20 seconds. Can't you just like give us a thumbs up or something? Yeah. I don't even take your middle finger at this point. Also, if you don't wish to talk to me through the headphones or you want to say something that everybody can hear, I've got a device there that's on record. You may talk into that. Alright, so I think he's ready. So, as, as you've already probably heard him say, good evening, I'm Matt, he's Michael, and you obviously know the people that occupy this house on a daily basis. So, we're here on this opportunity here to try and communicate, give you something to say, give you a voice. Um, my brother's going through a communication method at the moment that you can talk through him. He will be able to pick up little bits of what you're saying. So... Who was in this room before when I had my back turned? Can we start off by giving us a name? Hi, 
Hiding. Hiding. So was that you hiding and tapping on the wall before, every time I had me back turn? When no one was in the room? They said, they've said they've seen a little girl in here before, running up and down the hallway. Is that same little girl here and does she happen to be hiding? Because if you are, you don't need to be afraid of us. He may look scary, but he's a big cuddly teddy bear. Worried. Here we go. Worried, here we go. Straight through. Straight through where? So as I said, you're quite happy for you to come out. We're not here to harm you, not here to scare you. I'm passing. So, are you trying to tell us that you can't going to walk straight past us right now? And go down the hallway like you've been seen doing before? If you do, can you head into the lounge room for us? Got a few things in there you can play with. Out. She's out here in the hallway apparently. I think she was scared. I'm a marker. Hmm? The fella here said she's holding his hand. She was. She was, she's gone now. Did you head down into the hall into the lounge room for us? If you did, can you make that thing go off down there? Can you touch that shiny antenna in the lounge room for me? It's going pretty quiet. Probably. Can we ask a few questions about a possible person? There's been multiple reports from a few people here in the family of a man in a trench coat. Any chance whoever is in the room with him, can you tell us a bit more about him? If you okay, hope you're here. Well, can you tell us a bit more? All right. I'll give you a minute. Can you tell me who's coming then? Or are they already here? We're coming. 
Yeah. All right. Do you want me to give you a minute? While the little girl's down in the lounge room playing with the REM pod, like I asked? We're coming. Three times. Look what happens. Are you trying to tell us we shouldn't be doing this? We shouldn't be what here? What the fuck? It just said I'm a man in the weirdest... Are you the man in the trench coat? Yes or no? Because we will not be intimidated. Are you the man in the coat? Up. Are there any questions you just want to know? You just want to chance just it? Touch me. I just really want to know. Someone just touched me on the back. I just want to know about trench coat men. Yeah. Like not you have to. <clears throat> we have to. We've just been asked. Is someone getting handsy in the hallway? I don't know if that was the best phrase. But did you just walk past someone standing in the hallway and touch them on the back? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Guys. Little girl, is that you down in the lounge room? If it is, can you do that again for me? Don't be afraid. You want to find me? Yeah, we do want to find you. That's what we're asking. Then find me. So who do we have to find? Just so it makes it easier. Are we looking for the little girl? Killed. Are we looking for the big scary man in the trench coat? So the guy in the trench coat, are you a marker that's trying to give a warning to someone that lives here? Why, are you starting to have enough of us? Do you want us to go down and talk to the little girl? We're alright. 
What are you quite happy here? You happy sharing the space with the people that live here? No harm yet. They must be having a ball with it down there. Like I said, like we've said, none of us accept any evil, evil's presence here tonight. You have no right to try and harm anyone. As you've said, no harm's come yet. But do not try and intimidate. Try it. How long ago was it? Alright. So quite a few years ago, a seance was performed in this room here. And one of the occupants of that seance was inhabited by something that was not very nice. Can you give us a name as to who that possibly was? Because she would really like to know. It's still haunting her to this day. Because I really want you to know you've scared her for life. And she'd like to know... If there was a reason for Mother. it. Mother. So that night that seance was performed. Are you saying? Because that was... Harold. Harold. Close. All right, can you ask me, can, can I ask who, who you're close to? Invisible. All right. But can people see you on different occasions? Behind. Okay. You've said behind before. And we asked who you're standing behind. Are you a loved one? Is that why you're close to someone here? Because every time I've seen him, he's been walking away. That's most everyone he leads by behind. Mm -hmm. So every time they see you, it's more, it's from behind, is it? You always seem to be walking away. So can you give me? Oh shit! Don't miss that last topic. Can you repeat yourself? Is that possible? Father. Father. So you said, "Good man and father." Because I did ask if it was a loved one that was here. Can you ask for a name? While we're here, can you give us another name? You've probably only got a minute or two left to talk to us through this, through this uh, communication way. So 
So again, can we ask for that name? Is it because you're a loved one? <clears throat> Can I ask who's crying then? Just don't. Just don't? Can you tell us why? Why I shouldn't? <clears throat> if you can tell me why I shouldn't. Don't. Okay. Do I have to talk to you like my child? Don't and radio isn't an answer. Can you tell me why? No, not just yet. First warning. I don't really like to listen too often. All you have to do is give me that reason why. He's telling me to get out. You give me a warning, but you still haven't given me no reason. All right, I do apologize. This is your place. I'm just a visitor. So, is there anything lastly you'd want to say before I tap him on the shoulder? Or do you I'm coming? You coming? Do you want to tap him on the shoulder for me? Tap him on the shoulder. Let him know I'm here. Let him know I'm ready. So, how do you feel? Weird. It was, it was hard to hear. And then it just started... Fo there was a voice on there that was really weird. Mm -hmm. It said, I'm a man, but it was like a, a weird robot -y voice that said, I'm a man. And I don't well, know that was uh, around the time we were asking about trench coat, man. Was it? Yeah. And I felt sick. Um, my ears are still like burning, eh? Like they're just, both hot. It's I, I really feel cold in here. I've got there's a breeze. She's cold, minute. and I'm very hot. I had to take my jumper off. So, and, um, and early on, it said hiding. And then I asked about the little girl who runs down the hallway. Yeah. Just after that, it said coming through. So I said, "All right, walk through." And Belly said she was holding his hand. 
And then, and then I said, and then he said it was gone. I said, all right, if you're going down to the lounge room, can you go down and play with the REM pod, play with the shiny metal aerial? What'd we get? Are you for real? 100%. Like 10 seconds ago, just before you took the body no. off. I right. It. And it and went off when pretty, pretty. The seance, they said mother, and on the actual seance board before I was a goner, it said mum. Did it really? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, oi, I was sit, I'm sitting here. And then it, it felt like came it felt like someone was walking around for a bit, and then it like gave me like the slightest touch here. Mm -hmm. And I, at first I'm like, oh, it's probably a bug or something, but I remember I'm not fucking mm. outside. Oh, and then something touched me on the back and the neck and the ass, and that thing down there just went ballistic. Yeah. Right. So. I need I need a break for a minute. All right, guys. Anyone? Yeah, like anyone who's asking, anyone who's missed this, jump over our YouTube page. So it's free to subscribe. So all our lives get uploaded onto the YouTube page you that you can watch in full. Have any of you so, told anybody on, the, on there? So, yeah. So like I said, jump over to YouTube. Same name, Burnsy Bros Paranormal. Hit the, subscri hit the subscribe button. So, like I said, any lives that we've done in the past are on, uh, have been uploaded to YouTube. So... At least that way, if we start to bore you, you can at least fast forward. I apologise tonight, guys. I have not been looking at the phone really at all. So I haven't really been interacting. We're, it's, a, it's a different experience here tonight, guys, being in someone's house, knowing that someone lives with this day in, day out. So I did get a little bit provocative, provocative, uh, provocative just then, but... I was just trying a different technique towards the end, so, but yeah, so, just going to give him a minute, just going to, what are you feeling there, Caitlin? Oh, there, just, uh, we'll yeah, just out there, recapping and stuff, so, hey Matt, hey everyone else, hey everyone, hey Matty bro, so, Um, screenshots, um, if Mish is here, they'll tell you, it's Instagram, I think it's Jam Squad, Instagram, or Mish, or Bernsey, I don't know, I want to, mods, do your job, help her out. Cheers, Drooper. Like I said, guys, I, yeah, I don't get a lot of time to step out anymore, but... This opportunity is something we couldn't pass up. We couldn't let him come by still. So they needed a bit of help. So, so he's stuck with me for a minute. He's out there. He just wants a, wants a minute to himself. A bit to recap so he can get through. So... Doing my job, Leah. Jesus Christ. So what, what I look for is, like I said, it's, it's radio. Mm. So you do hear some radios. Now, obviously, I like this one a lot more because that's so, the best for the radio. Down here, guys, in this land room by itself. I asked the little girl if she could come down and play with this, and it seems she did. Whether it was her or not. Um, yeah, so. Like I said. So, The history on the house is just a lot of people that have passed in the seance. Yeah. That possessed Shez, and yeah. then they had to lock Shez in a different room. Yeah. She was clawing at everyone. Um, yeah. And then just a heap of past family members. Um, there's been a little boy in the hallway, a little girl in the hallway, and we have footprints that go up the windows on the outside of the windows. That's it. There's nothing, like, I don't think there's anything bad, except for, like, we've been told the trench coat man... Was bad. 
<laughs> oh. Someone. Oh, Bella's using, must be using someone's account. She goes, I've never stepped foot in that place again before. Oh, that's Lily. Yeah. That's oh. um, her partner's girl. Oh, okay, yeah. I live here because they don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, it actually come through in the Estes, like when we're asking about the house and like the people here and it says like no harm so and that's not, other than the seance that was done quite a few years ago and the and the possess and the possession so other than that there's been and whether that was harm whether it was on purpose or not we don't know so but the, yeah <laughs> Whether it was confusion, it mightn't have even needed, me meant to attach to her. And it was trying to get out, that's why she's clawing. Mm. It might have been trying to get out of her as much as it was, so. But yes. I feel the kids connect to the spirits. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Was he, someone saying that the kids was playing with someone, was it? Or was it one I've of the had, other houses? We've had. Um, like my kids will just like randomly laugh and yeah. clean up at lights and stuff like that. Um, say that there's a person in the corner of the room. Yeah. Just little things. Well, that chandelier isn't going now. I can't really see that. But earlier And on, animals, actually, I had a cat that used to look directly up that hallway. Yeah. And at the end room right at the hallway is Belly's room. And that's where his wife had actually passed away the very first time. And then he brought her back. And then she passed away again in hospital. And I used to have a cat that used to stand right here. Yeah. Have its tail straight up in the air. And yeah. And looked straight down into the hallway at the end of the hallway. Like it's seen and something. And belly always, belly, belly always said, um, when an yeah. animal is looking at something or growling at something, yeah. he always looked between his ears. And I was like, no, he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, where's my drink, bro? Your mother. Probably in the car. Well, you left it. No, I thought you brought him in. No, you said no. Did you bring any drink in? Yeah, I've got one on the table there. Caitlin, who was um, Brennan's brother, little brother that passed away, the baby? What was his name? Who's? Brennan's little brother. Before Charlie. 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 I'm going to do a lot. I hope, I hope no one feels left out that I'm ignoring their questions. I hope they don't feel like I'm ignoring them. I've just been focused on a lot more here tonight rather than the phone. So. so it reminds me of Parramatta Jail. Yeah, Danny. Being there for the first time, like I'm feeling so much around. I'm going to do a light session in here yeah. and talk and where's the spirit talker? Because once I, I'll, if I get a good enough reading in here, I'm going to put Caitlin into Estes. No, nah, apparently the storms came through here earlier. We've been pretty lucky, so. So, um, where's my other phone that's in the room, mate? Brody, don't, no, don't start tonight. I've been told I'm not allowed to tonight. Been told to game face tonight. Was that couple was there? Yeah, I think we'll, no, I think we'll put it there earlier. Answer what questions? No. Alright, here, no. take that Yeah, one. I'll take this now. Huh? Mel just said, same as though Timmy is family, make sure his messages are sent to the spirits. Hey guys, how's it going? Oops, sorry, I've still got some barbecue sauce on me. You could have told me about that, Matt. No. Hey, it's not my job to tell you when you got sauce on your face or not. Hey guys, how's it going? So that was... Sorry I haven't um, spoke to you as much. Um, I wanted to try and get some stuff out of the spirits here straight away, basically. So, hey Kim, how's it going? Alright, so what's going on is we're at a house... 
that has had a seance done in it. Um, people have seen a little girl, a, a man in a trench coat hat, and there was, um, was this where the photo was caught? Yes. Yes, right there. Right, right where I am now. So behind me, if you look in the video that was for, for tonight, um, you'll see at the end one where it says tonight's investigation, there was actually in the dark uh, um, a shadow, like something of what mine is now, but you can see that nobody's there. So we're coming up to see um, what spirits they are and if any other spirit had got out in the seance as well. Um, we've had somebody who's had an attachment here or a possession, if you will. Um, and yeah, right then, um, the old man here, uh, Belly, he, um, he had the little girl that was holding his hand. Now, when I was in that Estes Zen, um, I felt a couple of touches, like not hard touches, but like real little touches. I heard two two men in there. Well, one one was a lot younger than the other. The other one was a really weird one, and I had a female in there as well. So that's um that's basically what we're here for tonight. Now I am going to go back into Estes a bit later on, but I am going to put Caitlin under Estes because I want to try and make a connection with whatever spirits here with them. Sorry, I'm just Right now we're gonna have a we're gonna have a session in the lounge room. Um I'm gonna leave the light on for a bit just so if there is a spirit in here that wants to try and um show itself, I'm gonna give it plenty of energy. Um you had a guy sitting on the bed next to you, Michael. Oh, did I? Yeah, that's what Mitch said. Well, I had, um, I felt like people, yeah, you can sit, you can sit. Um, I felt like people were walking around in the room, um, heavy and small steps. So, so yes, right now, oh, thanks, Miss. Hey, Miss, how you going anyways? How's it, how, how you going, everyone? Sorry, I do not want to be rude. Much love to you all. Thank you very much for coming in and, and um, being a part of our first house investigation. So, like I said previously, um, we're only here to investigate the house to see what we can come up with. This is all part of it. Um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit there and tell everybody that this is a, a definite haunted house because I don't believe that it's haunted. I do believe that our spirits are here, but also there is a room that we can't get into where um, someone was locked in once that séance was on. So. Oh, uh, Bretto, thanks for the Galaxy, bro. Everybody, if you haven't followed Bad FJ, please follow him. Him and Mish have been doing some amazing investigations. And if you're new in here and you love it, get on over to them as well, please. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have a spirit talker. Now, everybody in here, if you've got a question, if you hear something coming up, like I'll start the questions off on that, but if you hear something or you just want to ask for somebody to respond to you, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Just remember that when you're asking for the people and stuff like that, um, don't freak out if you get a response. Righto? That's all I can say is don't, don't freak out. You don't have to freak out. <laughs> I know. I know. No, well, I, I say, the reason why I say that is is because with spirits and that, especially now, I could be wrong and there could be a possible bad spirit that hasn't even shown itself to you. Never know. Anything that we can be doing here now, until that's what I was saying is earlier on, anything that we can do and that we don't know what kind of response we're going to get here, we could actually open up something for someone else who's been waiting to come out and reach out or whatever. So how long ago was that science done? 2003, and that was the last time I asked them. Yeah, so 20 years ago, but still. Yeah. Last time I asked them, that's when it attached itself to me. Righto. So... Just remember, just be calm with it. Don't don't be scared of nothing. All right. From from my experience, if there was something very terrible here, always say this: it would have, something would have happened by now. So. Yeah, it's always been good. Yeah. No. Nah, well. Yeah, no one's ever that that's the thing. Well, like I said, in I remember in the essays, it said no harm yet. Mm. 
Yeah. I remember that. I just want to go through the trailer. It's always like, yet. It gives you, like, it makes you yeah. think, yeah. Well, well it has no, it's nice to see someone can say that. Well, hello, yeah. what happened to me? That what we'll try right. and do here now but is try and establish a communication with the spirit. Maybe that spirit knows who you're talking about. Maybe it is that spirit you're looking for. Okay, guys. Do you feel peace in the room now? Yeah, I feel I feel good in this room actually. To be honest with you, um, that room the other the, so the other room up there, yeah, I did when I walked past. Like when you start at the there's a cupboard there, and when you start it there to the end of the bed, the ball was in between there. That's where I felt a heavy breath. Like every time I walked through there, I breathed heavy. Like it was well, one or two breaths. Yeah. That was going yes. Yeah. yeah. So you put the tripod on that. Yeah. I also feel like um, Belly's told me about the little girl that he's seen here. I um, also feel like it could be her as well because, as you guys know, um, the balls do get played with a lot by children's spirits that we've had. And it was like she was playing with the ball in there and then once I came in there, somebody who she does not know... Said hi Said hi. And she come running out here and started playing with that. Yeah, she said coming through. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about before the Estes. Oh, yeah. So remember when I said we got to go in there when I was at the yeah. pendulum mat, and then I walked in there, and then it came. Then the spirit came out. It was like the spirit came out here. Well, she, she, this is where she might have in she in was this area here. Yeah. Right, we'll, veranda when it's raining, we'll try and get a connection through there. Once again, guys, I am sorry. Um, I'm dead set sorry if I miss comments or anything like that, but um. Yeah, I'm just trying to establish stuff here. So I will get to you if you've got, um, if you've got questions and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just turn the spirit talker on now. Once again, I'm just gonna say it. Um, we accept no negative energy. We accept no negative spirits. We accept no attachments, good, bad, or any other kind to ourselves, our equipment, or anybody in this room or the devices. I'm gonna. Um, do you want? Can we grab a, one of them candles? Yeah. Um, Caitlin? Yeah, I'm done. What do you want? Daughter. 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 They they could they could just, possibly. Yeah, well, I was just wondering in my head, but um, about my lost child. And it, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. I don't know. It's well. Weird. I reckon that little boy. You can manifest it to it. Um. We'll start out with the daughter then. Just if you want to say a couple of things in your head, and if it if more come out like that. Well, Maybe it, put it into a. Girl or someone's daughter. Is the little is the little I'm girl in? You're making it cold. You're making it cold. Is there any possible chance that you can take that light out for me then? Because that light's got heat coming from it. If that's the little girl, can you touch that REM pod again for me? Make that green light go. I'll just dim the light, actually. Cause we'll, where's the torch, Maddie? Oh, the blue one or the other one? The blue one. I'm going to put the blue light so it shows here. You said daughter, and you said you're making it cold. Can you tell me your name by any possible chance, please? Can Matt pass it here? Because I'll put it. So it's facing over there. 
What a feeling about that TV. Oh, thanks, Bowsey. Describe. Sure. Tell him. Can you just tell him I'm gonna have to restart? You don't have to hide, mate. I just say he's restarting. Oh no, he look. <laughs>